The international community is condemning the terrorist attacks on two Christian churches in Egypt during Palm Sunday services. The explosions at a Coptic church in Tanta and one in Alexandria killed 44 people and wounded at least 100 others. The Islamic State terrorist group is claiming responsibility for the heinous violence. Viewers, Lady Zahok has our report. The first explosion took place inside St. George's Church in Tanta, about 100 kilometers north of Cairo, killing at least 27 people and wounding many others. The second one targeted St. Mark's Church in Alexandria. Eyewitnesses say police stopped the suicide bomber from entering, but his device went off outside, killing 17. They say it happened on his way inside while he was being searched, just like we were all searched before going inside. So while they were searching him, they found something, and when he was arrested, he pushed the button and blew himself up. The two police officers were blown up, and the explosion hit the people around. The explosions come weeks before Pope Francis plans a visit to Egypt. I pray for the dead and the injured, and I am close in spirit to their families and the entire community. May the Lord convert the hearts of people who saw terror, violence, and death and even the hearts of those who produce and traffic in weapons. The Western world has uniformly condemned the terrorist attacks on civilians attending religious services. U.S. President Donald Trump expressed confidence that his Egyptian counterpart will handle the situation properly. U.S. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said we must redouble efforts against Islamic State. Terrorism is a scourge that we must stop, and we are getting better at it. The drones have taken out many of the leaders of ISIS. We got to keep it up. Islamic State, or ISIS, claimed the responsibility for the attacks, but the Palestinian terrorist group Hamas condemned them. The Hamas movement hopes that Egypt recovers from these wounds and wishes safety, security, stability, and prosperity so Egypt can restore its strength and pioneering role in promoting the interests of its people and those of the Arab and Islamic nations. Egyptian Copts, the country's biggest religious minority, are a frequent target of terrorist attacks, including arsons, assaults and bombings. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.